Are you looking for luxury and adventure all rolled into one? Well, then you've got to check out these Class A motorhomes that are also toy haulers. They're really incredible. Hi everybody, Mike here from RV Blogger in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're going to be taking a look at Class A motorhomes that are also toy haulers. And these particular motorhomes are fantastic if you want to combine luxury and adventure at the same time. The great thing about a Class A toy hauler is you can have all the modern conveniences and luxuries of home in a super tricked out nice Class A motorhome and still be able to haul all of your toys with you or a golf cart, motorcycles, kayaks, whatever it is you want to haul around. And you can also have room for your family to be with you. These motorhomes can sleep plenty of people, so they're a really, really nice option for many, many people. Hey, if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing, and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. So, let's get into our tours of Class A motorhomes with toy haulers. So here we are inside the Thor Outlaw 37RB, which is a Class A motorhome toy hauler. Has all of the luxuries that you would want in a Class A RV and all the adventure you can find in a toy hauler at the same time. This particular motorhome is about 39 or 40 feet long and uh, it's very luxurious inside. Why don't we start at the front of the RV and we'll work our way back. So the front of this Class A motorhome uh, features two really large bucket seats that are extremely comfortable. They swivel around so you can sit in them and face back into the dinette or kitchen area of this RV. Also over top, it has a bunk that lowers down over top and you can have two extra people sleep up there. So it's a nice, uh, it gives you extra sleeping capacity. Then right behind the cab, we have the kitchen and dinette area. And as you can see, this dinette is very, very comfortable. It's got very nice padded seating. You can easily seat four people here. Uh, just a very, very luxurious feel to it and uh, good sized dinette area. Plenty of storage over top as well. This area also bumps out, so it just creates a little more space inside of the dinette area also. Over here on the other side of the kitchen, uh, we have a nice inline kitchen here. It's got a three burner, which is really two burners plus an induction burner. And then over top, you have a convection microwave oven, which serves as both a regular oven and a microwave. Therefore, we don't have to have a separate oven down below the cooktop. Gives us extra room for plenty of storage. And uh, there's just a lot of storage in this kitchen area. As you can see, full pull-out drawers. I mean, very, very nice. It's got a nice, uh, nice deep double bowl sink here in the kitchen as well. But all in all, just a really nice feel. One thing that I find kind of strange is we, you know, they have this nice ceramic tile backsplash, but you know, they don't really run it all the way around. They just sort of put it behind the sink here and behind the stove here, so it's functional but I kind of like to see it go all the way around. I just feel like that is a much better presentation for a kitchen. It would be more like your kitchen at home that way. Uh, moving deeper into the RV, uh, the fridge is right across from the kitchen sink. Um, this particular model, you know, has a Whirlpool, really good size RV refrigerator in it. Um, you can't really get a residential size fridge in here, unfortunately, but this one's a pretty good size. And, uh, and works very, very well. Behind me, coming back into the RV even further, is where the bathroom area is. And Susan loves this kind of bathroom setup because it's got the shower on one side and uh, really good size shower, plenty of headroom over top, skylight over top of that for extra brightness. And then on the other side of the hallway is where the uh, toilet and sink are and we'll take a look inside of there next. As you can see in the bathroom there's a really large medicine cabinet with mirrored doors on it and then a corner cabinet which serves as like a linen closet site type cabinet and then next to that there's just more cabinet space with a towel bar underneath so 
plenty of storage area inside this bathroom. Moving down, you'll see a pretty good size vanity top, uh, good, uh, nice big bowl sink. And then below that, more cabinet space, an open space to the left of the toilet there or to your right. And then, uh, and then of course, the commode. So just beyond the bathroom is the owner's bedroom. And this area is really two bedrooms in one. And we'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. But the owner's bedroom itself has a queen size bed. It's a full queen bed. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's got a window on each side to catch a nice cross breeze. Plus it has a little shelf on each side that you can also plug in your electronics, plug in your phone, put them on your little nightstand at night. So great setup for all of that. In addition, you've got plenty of storage over top of the bed. And then on the other side of the bedroom, we'll take a look at where the TV sits and even more storage space. So we really like this next feature, which is sort of a bedroom within a bedroom. These little steps here lead from the owner's bedroom upstairs into another little bedroom. So if you have kids, um, you can have two kids sleep up there. But the nice thing about it is they're still within the main part of the motorhome. They're not having to sleep like out in the garage area and um, you, you know, using that as a bedroom, although you can. But in this particular motorhome, it's a great setup. So they're in the main part of the motorhome with you. So from the master bedroom, we had out this really nice sliding glass door out into the garage. Let's check it out. So here we are in the garage for this toy hauler and pretty good sized garage. It's about 10 feet deep. The overall width of this motorhome is eight and a half feet wide. So you could fit a golf cart, some smaller ATVs in here, bicycles, motorcycle, kayaks, all that fun stuff. No problem at all. And in addition, the garage area also serves as another sleeping area because it has two couches back here. One couch can serve as a bed. Actually, they both can. Or you can put them in the couch position and they have these nice little cup holders or you can just have three people sit here. So either way, you've got plenty of room back here. When you're done with your couch, just fold them up and put them away and that gives you plenty of room inside the garage. You'll also notice in here, there's another TV. Overall, this RV has four TVs, three inside and one outside. Another door outside over here. So that's convenient as well if you wanna get in and out of your garage uh, without walking through the entire motorhome. It does have a separate entrance and exit, which is fantastic. Um, and then it leads out to a nice big back deck. And then here we are outside on the ramp, which also serves as a deck as well. This motorhome with a toy hauler is a Newmar Canyon Star, and it's a really upgraded motorhome, but it also has a toy hauler in the back. But we'll start in the front and work our way back. And starting from the front, you have the cab up front, and then right behind that, you have a really nice dinette area with the TV over top. And across from that, you've got this really comfy couch. Both of these convert into beds, and so you have extra sleeping spaces up here for everyone as well. So moving back through the RV, the next section that we'll come to is the kitchen area. But if you can see the ceiling over my head, there's a beautiful tray ceiling that's lit up and built in as well. Just a lot of really nice fine appointments in this particular RV. Now in the kitchen area, you sort of have a U-shaped kitchen here, plenty of countertop space, a nice deep double bowl sink, big old gooseneck faucet, which is very nice. Range is a three burner range. Uh, convection oven above so you don't have to have an oven down below plenty of cab uh, cabinet space throughout and um, all the cabinetry through here is maple it's a very high quality just a really really nice setup right across from the kitchen is a really nice sized bathroom and it's got a really good size shower plenty of overhead room I would say there's a good six inches over top of my head medicine cabinet plenty of other storage cabinetry big vanity and uh, just a very nice bathroom so coming back through the rv past the kitchen and bathroom we get into the bedroom where we have a full residential size queen bed very nice size there's plenty of cabinetry over top of the bed area but also across from it 
you have a nice size wardrobe with cabinetry down below as well. So here we are in the garage of the toy hauler and you can see that we've got two sofas on either side. There's a table that goes in the middle so you can use this area as another dining area or you can use it to lounge and relax. And of course there's a bed overhead that can come down and be used for additional sleeping. There's also a TV and sound system. So if you're in here enjoying dinner, eating at the table, or you're in bed and you want to watch some TV before you go to sleep, boom, here it is right here. So what did you think of these amazing Class A motorhomes with toy haulers? Leave us a comment down below, tell us what you thought. And if you enjoyed checking out these motorhomes, you might enjoy checking out some of our other videos as well. Just click right here to check them out. And also when you do, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we release a new video. So for Mike and Susan, catch you next time.